Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make these delicious fish tacos. If you're interested, stay tuned. Here are the ingredients I use for this recipe. I have the tilapia, which is the star of the show. I bought that in bulk, fresh from Sam's Club. We have mission shells, cabbage, limes, tomato, and tilapia. We also have paprika, garlic powder, onion powder, cumin, salt, and pepper for seasonings. This recipe, you could choose a couple different cheeses. You could use Cortega cheese, forgive me if I pronounced that wrong. I use just good old Mexican shredded cheese my favorite type of cheese to use. For the sauce, it's going to be a lime crema using these ingredients. Let's get started. I'm just going to be just opening the package and again guys, this fish is fresh. You can also use the frozen tilapia fillets from Walmart. Those are cost effective as well. But I really wanted to use the fresh tilapia so that's what I picked up and I'm just gonna lay these on the pan and get ready to get these seasoned squeeze the fresh lime juice that's going to go with my oil it's almost like it is like a, a marinade you know for your fish that lime and oil really mixed with those seasons will really give that fish fish a good flavor seasoning the fish heavy with my um, salt pepper cumin garlic powder onion powder and paprika now when you pick your limes at the store guys you know make sure you you know always smelling and squeezing your vegetables I'm gonna do a video on that to show you how to pick the right um, vegetables and season you know, the herbs and things to work on I said, never be shy with the spices, you know, pull it back on your salt because you can always add, but you can't take away. You know, go a little heavier on your spices, it really kicks up the flavor of your meats. I'm just going to give this a good rub down, and I do this pretty much with all my fish. Now I'm going to cook that at 375 or 30 minutes. In the meanwhile, I'm just going to go ahead and get some of my veggies chopped up. So really look at that beautiful color of that cabbage. I'm just going to do this in thin strips. Gives the taco a lot of color and crunch. I'm dicing up onions because I like the freshness of a good onion in my taco. Uh, in this taco particular, This also is going to give your taco a delicious crunch. And if you don't like onions, you know, you don't have to put that on there. But, you know, it's, it's really good flavoring for this taco. All the flavors are going to mesh together very well. Avocado, but not overripe, where you squeeze it and it feels, it feels like the whole avocado is shifting out the shell. I 
side and I just set that to the side guys and so everything finished up now I'm just gonna open my oven it's 15 minutes halfway through the cooking time and I'm gonna give it a rotation and we got hot spots in our oven so we want to make sure we're getting that evenly cooked I'm just gonna rotate it While that's finishing up, I'm going to get the sauce ready for the lime crema. Oh, and this really just kicked up the flavor, you know. All these flavors I really, really love. I'm a big citrus fan. That hot sauce is going to give it a little of a kick. And I like, you know, a little spice, but not to where you're eating spice and it's all you taste. I like to have flavor as well as a little spice, just a little bite in the back of your throat. And that's what this sauce will do for you. If you like it hotter, you can add more of the hot sauce to kick it up. I think it came out perfect. That recipe will, of course, be in the description below, guys. Alright, so now my fish is done, and this is what it's looking like. It is cooked all the way through, still, you know, really juicy. Look at that white, flaky fish, and that's what you want. You don't want dry fish. I chose to toast up flour shells as my favorite to eat with tacos for soft shell. But you, you know, in a lot of the uh, recipes you can use, they have corn uh, shells that you can use as well and if that's what you like if you favor corn use corn I favor flour so that's what I use and I got a nice brown toast on my shells you don't want them too soft where they're pulling away you want to make sure it has a little bit of a snap to it right yeah look at that color nice Exactly what I'm looking for. Drain that a second on a paper towel and repeat to get the shield you need. Now I let that fish rest for a while. Now I'm just gonna break it up with two forks, just flaking it. And it looks so yummy. And after I flake the fish. to take a bite of the taco so you guys can know what flavors are in there I think here we go rubbing it down on the fish really puts a lot of flavor inside the fish with the lime crema and the creaminess of the avocado now try this one guys sloppier fish tacos You 
are new here, welcome to my channel. I love cooking, recipes, revamping, and doing money saving tips for families. I'm a family of five, I'm my husband and our three children. So, if you are interested in recipes and money saving tips, please like, comment, and subscribe. And you also can suggest, you know, in the comments or something you want to see me cook. I do a lot of home style meals. Go ahead and subscribe.